OK 啦。Okay, so uh, welcome everyone. Thanks for everyone's time. Uh, I know everyone is busy, so we will keep the meeting very short for 30 minutes. And uh, the agenda has been sent out uh, earlier. So we will have a few things to discuss today. First, I'll introduce the uh, potential uh, proposal four and proposal five. Uh, when I say potential, it means we are we're in discussion of this proposal, but uh, nothing is confirmed. We, we are not expecting to uh, discuss in depth uh, the content of this proposal, but then uh, it's more like, uh, I'd like to draw the attention of our uh, validators and community members so that they know uh, we have such a discussion going on and more discussion will be held in uh, Discord, which Phoebe has uh, mentioned earlier. And uh, if you missed that, please check out our chat, uh, our chat room. There's a link to our Discord uh, chat room, and we'll talk more about the uh, uh, the proposals after the meetings. So uh, we had three proposals uh, before, which are all passed it uh, by 100% of the validators. And right now we are uh, working on uh, proposing uh, proposal four, which I briefly uh, mentioned last month, but uh, without much progress, uh, I'm sorry about that. So uh, proposal four is about to, um, to enable direct democracy by the uh, stakeholders, which means that, that there are two elements the first element is to let uh, stakeholders vote themselves instead of voting through the validators. And the second element is to let uh, stakeholders uh, raise proposal. So right now, uh, just as a recap, stakeholders have to vote and raise proposals through the validators they trust which means uh, if we enable, we enable this uh, feature to let the stakeholders vote and raise proposal themselves, it would in, it's like a direct democracy, which uh, I would say increase the element of uh, democracy in our community. And another uh, effect I would say is to Probably, uh, it would help lower the 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 um the pressure and workload of the the validators, because uh, from time to time I chat to uh validators and some of them reflect uh an opinion that they cannot really understand all the proposal and and obviously everyone is busy. So if we uh, take out the uh, limitation that only the uh, validators, which means the representative can raise proposal and, and can vote, it would actually help them uh, uh, lower their, uh, their, their workload actually. So this is what, uh, what proposal four may mean. And I'll just like uh, allow like like one to two minutes for uh, anyone to comment on this. And if there's no comment, I'll just uh, uh, move on to the the other agenda item. I hope everyone is with me on the same page. Hmm. It's Baobo here. Last time, uh, Baobo asked me a little bit on the uh, after the meeting on on the content of the proposal. If you have anything to uh, add or comment, it would be a good time. So it seems there's none, and and so we'll move on to the uh, second agenda item, which is the. The uh, potentially the proposal five that we are working on, which is um, very easy to understand and which is 
probably even more related to uh to the validators and also the all the Lycon stakeholders. So in proposal five, we are um considering to raise the inflation rate of Litecoin, which means raising the uh, reward of the validators. So right now we, we have an inflation rate of 1%, of which if you ask me why we set it, it at 1%, I, I, I can hardly answer because it's like uh, just a small enough number to start with so that we are conservative enough not to uh, have too high an inflation rate. So that was set at uh, on November last year when uh, Litecoin chain was just started. So we just set a number as small as possible that uh, but but which is not zero. So we, we set it at one percent. Now that nine months has passed it and we think it's time to reveal and we believe it we have room to increase the inflation rate and thus the um and thus the reward of the validators and the uh delegators to help the uh validators uh pay their bills on their servers and electricity and also to increase the incentive for delegators to delegate their litecoin and increase the uh security of the litecoin chain we we don't um I, I don't have a number in mind like uh how much we should raise from one percent to to two percent or to three or to two point five or what but uh it's open to discussion uh but but we do have some reference uh one good reference is actually can I pass the mic to uh Quan which is much more familiar with the uh the the mechanism of cosmos cosmos hubs uh than i do to explain a little bit how cosmos do it with a much higher inflation weight and working well mm, Con oh. says, yeah his mind has some problem okay you can type actually uh i'll i'll, I'll repeat your words or if anyone else has uh, has comment, I just want to borrow your experience on Cosmos Cosmos Hub because we are considering to raise the inflation rate of Litecoin chain from one percent to a certain percentage. I, I think there's a uh, room for increase to to increase the um, incentive of validators and delegators. And yet another reason I forgot to mention is that uh, we're working on um, on a, uh, an update of the Litecoin chain, after which the validators will also be hosting the content metadata. You, we have to pin the uh, content on IPFS, so there will be more computational power and storage that validators have to spend. So uh, I'm thinking is good time to reveal the um, the uh, inflation weight. Let's see. Okay, so uh, as a reference, the Cosmos hop, uh, the inflation rate of it is seven uh, percent, which is much higher than uh, we have in Litecoin chain, and is working fine in Cosmos hop. Another reference is the uh, percentage of tokens that's uh, delegated for um, for Litecoin chain. Uh, our percentage should be sixty uh, six. Point some percent, uh, almost exactly one third of the of the Litecoin uh, that is dedicated, which is just about uh, secure enough. Uh, so that there's it, it's okay. We provide uh, more incentive for people to 
um, delegate. So let me see if there's any any others uh, have opinions on this. I guess not. And so uh, I repeat a little bit. So we'll, uh, we, we don't expect a consensus within the meeting. So it's totally OK that you don't have uh, comments and suggestions. But uh, I, I just want you to know uh, these two agendas are being discussed in the commodity. And we'll continue in our Discord uh, chat room uh, after the meeting. So now I'll pass. Uh, I'll move on to the next agenda, which is to uh, for us to introduce uh, Likeland and in particular Super Like. Uh, so I'll I'll pass the mic to uh, Josh, uh, who who is our product designer, and and he'll explain the design principle of Super Like and Likeland. Okay, thank you, King. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, Q. Also, Joshua, you can call me. Today, me and uh, David will talk about Superlike and introduce a new role along with uh, writer and readers. We call them uh, content jockey. Let me share the screen first. OK, is uh, everybody seeing the screen? Yes, yes, I can see the screen. Okay. okay, thank you. So, uh, before we talk uh, about Superlike and uh, the content jockey, uh, I will uh, take a moment to talk about Likeland first. Uh, Likeland, uh, if you have, haven't installed it, please go to the App Store and find it and install it. This is a reading app, and it's not just normal reading app. Uh, we are focusing on reading in-depth content. Uh, we are not a content platform, which means there's no content published on Likeland that uh, you can't write any articles on it. Rather than we are a index, a curation, and uh, to lead user to the content. This means when a user read uh, content, just uh, as shows in in the screen cap. Uh, they go back to the original website. Rather, the contents come from uh, a news media blog or any independent media. They visit the original website. Uh, although Lycan itself contains low S, however, all the S on the medium side, media site are still there. All interactions, comments, discussion, discussion and such still happen on the original media. Likelan also support paywall and subscription. Just as so as the uh, most right-hand side screen, user just input their username and the password of the subscription site. They will go back to the, they can go back and visit the, the article behind paywalls. In conclusions, Likelan will not affect any media media business model. Rather, Likely will bring user flows to platform, especially the uh, media or website uh, focused on in-depth content. Likely is a curation platform. Here are some design principles we want to discuss and believe to make the less browsing, more reading possible. As today, you will see people browse many, many, because the algorithm want you to do, the Facebook want you to do just more browsing so that they know you better and uh, and they can show you more ads. But we are doing doing otherwise. We want to, to, um, to people to read more, to have some more in-depth reading. To do this, first of all, AI is not useless. On this day, AI are everywhere. It take a big part of what we will see on the internet. Or worse, it is manipulating or even training us what to see and what to be like. Apart from no AI, we think it's important to have fully transparency to users for how and why they're reading 
uh, this article or that article. We want users to have a choice to what they will see. Speaking of no AI, uh, we are not really in innovations here because from the beginning, a headline newspaper 100% handpicked by editors. There is no AI. And uh, here we come to Facebook. We call it semi AI because uh, it is mix, a mix with uh, like, share, and comment, along with uh, AI decide what to show. And many times, those decisions include uh, who is paying. The last, uh, there are some media, some site trying to feed user with 100% uh, AI, only determine determined by algo and big data. As I mentioned before, we feel, refuse to rely on AI because uh, what people will discover is risk to be manipulated. However, only we rely on a small amount of people is terrible too, sometimes. Uh, this is a embarrassed uh, example of the defect if the correlation channels are too narrow. Uh, people can be buy out. And uh, the solution we have here are not rely on small amount of people, but a uh, bigger, bigger sample. And we call them content jockey. Um, here, content jockey. Oops. Content jockey, just like a DJ, this jockey are the creator of music. Content jockeys are creator for reader to follow. Along with uh, writer and readers, everybody can become a content jockeys. Reader are people who read, writers are people who write, and content jockey are people who share. Um, unlike the share we familiar with, on Likely and Share have a cost. Content jockey have incentive, of course, to pick worthy content to share by super like, and every share costs a little. And of course, if the content are uh, appreciated, just like uh, they are share again or uh, any other interactive have, uh, both the content jockey and the original writer will receive uh, rewards. We mean, although uh, everybody can be content jockey, however, by the one percent rules, we express uh, amongst all users, only 1% are the creators. And around 9% who, who will actively and uh, continuously finding high quality content. And the rest, 90% are readers. Before we talk about how to share this from a super like, uh, there's uh, one more thing I want to mention. For uh, what content will a reader see are determined by, determined by who they're following? Uh, to get, help uh, readers to get started, especially uh, some new us users has come to Likerland. Uh, we will have some, the Likerland will have some elite content jockey. Uh, what does this mean? That is mean uh, everybody by default will follow some elite content jockey. Uh, unless uh, someone who really don't like that content jockey, they have to go and unfollow them. Otherwise, everybody are defaulting following them. Um, these people will uh, we have the most, uh, if they share a content, they will, uh, the, the content will go, go to every content, almost. Everyone, almost. And you can see the power of that. And to determine who will be the elite content jockey are by voting. So here we go back to a uh, proposal. So in the near future, there will be proposals to let the community to follow whom will be the elite content jockey that everybody will follow by default. We are letting com the community to decide who are the most trustworthy and the top co content jockey. So here we come uh, to let uh, we to introduce you the super like, and I will uh, let uh, David to show uh, how the super like be used and how we how the content we show on Likerland. Thank you. 
Thanks, Josh. And now I would like to present my screen. Can everyone see my screen? Yes. Yes. Um, let's get started. And for the new Superlight feature, we have updated two of our products. One is uh, the Litecoin button and the Litecoin app. And first, let's talk about the Litecoin button. Before today's, uh, after five clicks of the button, there was nothing more. But now, after five clicks, we'll see the button changes. Let's go to the actual Litecoin button first. And this is an article from uh, founders, Kin. And I haven't liked it yet. And after I clicked it five times, you will see the star button is thrown up. And after I click it, this content will be shared as long as, as, long as the super lighted. And you will see there is an outer rim of the Litecoin button, which stands for the remaining time of the next super light, super light action. And for now, we have, uh, for every day, we have two super light. One is at midnight and at noon. And for Super Light Car, if you are already subscribed to this Super Light, Super Light Car, you can receive two uh, Super Light per day in this year. And you can see that um, the, this icon is turned green, and which means it, this is shared. And, and in the app, we cannot uh, show this in, in the app instantly. Uh, we will talk about that later. And for the app, uh, we have we ran the uh, UI completely. We try to uh, redesign it with the uh, similar to the newspaper. And what will hap what happens today will appear in tomorrow's newspaper. And the logic is similar to this. And let me explain how it works. And for today's content, uh, today's headline, you will see the evening feed from from today, and um, which is uh, in this morning. And for the morning feed, and it is all supervised from yesterday evening, which means this is a uh, one uh, one slot uh, offset for every feed, and you can call it as uh, a slot. And every day you have two slots, and after uh, afternoon in the uh, in the noon you can see the another new slot, and after midnight you can see uh, the content and uh, which is supplied in the evening. Let me show you the the app now. Please focus on my. Uh, cell phone here, and as you can see, and the day is this is the new UI, and I can scroll to navigate today's feed, and you as you can see, I have not very much contents in my feed because I haven't uh, followed many likers, and I can browse the uh, feed by in by the Right, right arrows on the top, and as most there are ten days we can browse, and these parameters can be changed upon the uh, black on chain proposal, and we can go back to today here. If we want to navigate more contents, we can click. The top left, top sorry, the top right button, and you can see this is a different screen, uh, which uh, contains all the su super light contents from all content jockey, and this uh, this feed will show at the latest hundred feeds, and this hundred uh, items can be configured to be so more. Okay, let's demo how the supply works. 
and we want to demonstrate the uh, how uh, the rewards are distributed to the content jockeys and the creators. And let's focus on this screen. And this is my uh, another account, the test account, uh, which is only followed me and other default follower. And you can see uh, uh, this articles is fielded by me in the early morning. So this uh, articles is appear on my test account feed. I can go to the like on button in the article. And as you can see, this is uh, already can be super lighted since I have uh, lighted five times before. And you can see the uh, the RSS inverted icon is uh, turned green because I have uh, shared it earlier. But I can, uh, since my cooldown is complete, I can super light it again. By clicking it, I have uh, shared the uh, the content. And let's talk about the logic behind. And we can verify the uh, super light uh, action by navigating to the Big Deeper, our Lycon Chain Block Explorer. And we can go to our, our app and get the address. You will see a new transaction appears in the uh, transaction list. There should be a new transaction in this uh, transaction list. Maybe there, uh, there's a delay in the transaction, but uh, never mind. Let me explain it by the graph. And what I was doing is uh, I use my main account to uh, supply the uh, content which is uh, created by the train HK. And I have used my test account to superlight it again. And that's how I share the content to uh, others. And who's following my test account will see the superlight content. And let's try again whether I can see the new transition here. Never mind. The transition is uh, maybe still running, and that's all for my presentation. Thanks, uh, David and Joshua. So, so that's the um, introduction and demonstration of Likeland and Superlike. Uh, as I promised, it uh, we'll finish in thirty minutes. So we we just have uh, three minutes. Uh, let me just uh, warp up a little bit by highlighting uh, some points mentioned by uh, Joshua and, and David already. So as Joshua mentioned, uh, we have a default uh, content jockey list in, in Likerland. Uh, right now, it's set to follow, every user is set to follow uh, five default content jockeys, which are the stand news, uh, matters, citizen news, and the independent news. And lastly, uh, the Lycon Foundation. But uh, we'll, uh, for Lycon Foundation, we'll not use it for uh, 
creating um, contents on other platforms. It will be used only for announcements. We are keen to add uh, Vocus and also uh, Taiwan uh, Fact Track Center, but they are not ready yet. So um, when they are ready, we, we are really keen to add it. But at the same time, we, I mean, we as a foundation want to uh, decentralize uh, our role. I mean, we want to forfeit our, our power to decide who will be the default content jockey. So um, once it's launched, it, it means today, we are giving up the power to decide who will be the content jockey. And new content jockey, uh, new default content jockeys will have to be added by proposal. So uh, I hope Vocus and, and um, Taiwan uh, Fact Check Center and maybe Grove and, and actually uh, any civic media can, can uh, get themselves ready and, and will propose to uh, have you added to the default content jockey list. And uh, that's another reason I uh, raised it the uh, proposal for to have anyone to, to let anyone have power to raise proposal to uh, not just to tune the um, say the uh, inflation rate, but also things like who will be added to the default content jockey list, or actually, uh, technically speaking, it's also possible that who should be taken out from the default content jockey list if they don't do their job well. So that's the uh, concept of Likelan, and I hope it's clear to everyone. And in case it's not, uh, we're always there in the Discord channel to uh, answer your questions. So it's 7.01. Let's see if, thanks, Summer. Uh, I, I know you're working hard on adding Litecoin to your site. We, we are looking forward to that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I hope uh, we can make it very soon. Thanks. We, we, we are looking forward to adding you to the uh, default content jockey list indeed. OK, thank you. And uh, Vocus as well, uh, Curtis. So we, we, we are looking forward to uh, have you ready and we will propose to add Vocus to the default content jockey list so that there are more elements and more quality contents from Taiwan. Sure. So that's, uh, that's all for the meeting. And I'll, uh, I really appreciate uh, your time. I know everyone is busy, but uh, still you spend 30 minutes, 40 minutes with us. So that's the, uh, that's the end of the meeting. And I'll, I'll close the uh, recording and, but then I'll, I'll stay. Uh, so in case you have anything to ask, but was to shine, uh, you, you can ask afterwards. Thanks everyone. Uh, Joshua, please turn off the uh, recording.